well this is a pretty rare occurrence a cracker winter's day like this here in Melbourne and if it hadn't been raining all night I wouldn't be here talking to you guys I'd be out riding so anyway let's shoot some video occasionally working on old motorcycles you'll have a situation where you'll have a damaged thread in a part that you really need functional so that can happen for a variety of reasons whether it's perhaps a softer aluminium part with a harder steel bolt that's been done up and undone a million times or maybe it's corroded and it's been stripped out or someone's put the wrong size bolt in it or for a variety of other reasons but you'll occasionally come up, uh, up against a problem where you've got a damaged thread so I'm going to show you one way of repairing a thread using a threaded insert or a helicoil so let's get straight into it I've just taken this scrap piece of aluminium and I've drilled and tapped a metric M10 hole threaded hole in that bung and I've just whacked this bolt in there for the purpose of the demonstration so at the moment I've got a very good quality clean tight thread which is fine but let's simulate what happens when that thread is damaged so I'm just going to put, put this in the vise and to drill and tap M10 I've pre-drilled it with an 8.5 millimeter drill bit then I've tapped it with the taps what I'm going to do is run a 3 8 drill through this intentionally attempting to damage the thread so you can maybe see in there and let's see if our bolt still goes in there yeah it does it's a bit loose and really the threads have been the peaks of the threads have been chopped off by my drill bit which is what I was intended intending to do so let's just put this back on autofocus and let's see if we can focus in here come on camera there we go so I've just taken the tops off the thread so let's do a bit more simulating on what happens when you've got a damaged thread All right, so hopefully I've damaged that thread a bit more so that we can do a repair job on it. Maybe not, it doesn't matter. That thread uh, has seen better days. So what we're gonna use in this example is what's called a threaded insert or Helicol's brand name. So just call it a threaded insert if you want. So this is a thread repair kit for M10 by 1.5. So you have to purchase one of these kits to suit the thread that you're attempting to repair. So if you need some help to identify the threads, go watch my video on threads and I'll link that down below in the text. But you're going to need to identify the correct thread and you're going to need to buy the kits that suits. Now you can get these in all sorts of quality ranges. I've seen very cheap import sets with you know a half a dozen metric sizes in one kit all the way up to some of these more expensive ones which have one size for uh, one size per kit so this is m10 by 1.5 only okay so the contents of the kit is pretty simple so what we're attempting to do is i'll zoom in on this little guy here is we have a we have zoom on that we have this very small insert which is made I'm guessing of stainless steel and it's got a little tang in the bottom there but it's like a little spring really and the inside thread form is the same as our bolt so it's M10 by 1.5 thread form inside the spring so the objective or the purpose of this little guy is we drill and tap a hole in our part to suit the outside of this insert and then when we screw it in the inside will be the same size as our bolt so let's see how we do it this particular kits come with all the parts I need or all the tools I need to repair an m10 by 1.5 
threaded hole. So we've got a bunch of inserts and you can buy these separately as well. So the kit's good forever pretty much if you look after it and you just need to buy some replacement inserts separately if you want to top up this kit. So it comes with a drill bit to drill out the pilot hole for the threaded insert. Comes with a tap which is designed specifically to suit that size threaded insert. And we've got a tool for installing the insert. So it's got a groove in the tip here and that's used to pick up on the tang on the insert. And then there's another tool here which is just a, like a driver tool and we use that to snap off the tang once this is inside and locked into our hole. So let's go through the steps of repairing my aluminium bung. Step one is just drill out the damaged thread using the drill bit supplied in the kit. Now, most of the time, you're not gonna get whatever part this is under your drill press. So if it's an engine case or a cylinder head or something like that, you might have trouble getting it onto your drill press table and getting it lined up. So there's a good chance you'll be using a hand drill to drill this out. So we have to be as careful as possible to keep that hole straight and not let the drill wobble around and flog out that hole. So let's try and get this nice and clean. Okay, so our hole's been drilled. We've taken off most of that thread that was in there. So step two. The next step is to take our tap that's been supplied in the kit and tap the part the size that we want. So I'm going to use a tap handle that's out of one of my other kits. Probably should have one of these lying around. And I'm going to use some tapping fluid to lubricate the tap. You could just use some engine oil or light machine oil, or whatever you've got lying around, that'll help. It'll be better than nothing. Or if it's aluminium, you can use kerosene as a lubricant. So I'm trying to keep the tap as straight as possible. Starting slowly. Back it off to break the chip. I'm not gonna go full depth because I want to demonstrate getting this insert relatively flush with the top of the part. So I'll just go a couple more turns and hopefully. Okay, you can see on the tab all the material has been cut out of the part. Now ideally you're going to clean that hole out, blow it out with some compressed air or flush it out with something else. I'm going to see whether I have any brake cleaner under the bench here. No I don't, so I'm just going to go back to my old faithful, some WD-40. Just flush out that hole try and remove as many of the chips as possible because they'll just get stuck in there later on. So we've picked up a few on the rag, so it's done its job. And now let's zoom in on this guy again. Let's have a look at our repaired thread. So hopefully you can see there's a new thread being cut into our part. And if I flip it over the other side, you can see there's still part of that hole that hasn't been tapped because we didn't go full depth. Okay, so next step is screw in the insert. So what I'll try and do is just turn this around so I can tip this towards the camera like so. Okay. So let's screw in the insert. Let me just set that camera. Okay, next step is we take the insert, 
and the installation tool and the tang is obviously go well obviously not obviously the tang goes into the hole first so we install the insert over the installing tool like that and then we're going to simply screw it into our part oh, take my hand out of the way let me just tip it up a bit so you can see what's going on screw it into the part you can see it's going in quite happily okay now we'll remove the installing tool and you can see down there the tang is towards the bottom of the part and all we do now now I've just screwed that in so that it's just under the surface of the part so we shouldn't catch on anything and now all we do is we use the final tool in the kit and we literally just punch that so we break off the tang from underneath so you don't even need a hammer in some cases to do this so you can i will use a hammer just for the purpose is just let me zoom back a bit so you can see that's it little tap and break off break off the tab tab at the bottom there so it's gone now zoom on there please camera that's gone now so our insert is done so now there should be no reason why our metric m10 bolt doesn't screw back into our part like so now obviously with this one being longer the threaded insert doesn't go all the way to the bottom of the hole but in most cases you probably won't need that but that's the way to install a threaded insert hopefully that was useful see you next time